am back today. Girl, I have been waiting. Let me tell you something. I stalked my packages. Let me get, go ahead and get my scissors out because I'm ready. My package from Sally's was supposed to have been delivered, delivered, delivered on, when is it, Tuesday. They, I get a message that says, we apologize for the delay. No, 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 don't, don't apologize. Just give me my stuff. Give me my stuff when you said you was gonna. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, I ended up purchasing quite a few items through Sally's Beauty online for Black Friday. Now look, I know that, who was it, Miel? Everybody had crazy deals, sales. Miel, Kinky Tresses, uh, Cumit Biologics, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Sultanicals, TGIN. I got all of those emails. I read them. I started adding things to my cart like I was really going to spend some money. I was looking at, I mean, it got to a point to where, who was it? Someone sent me, I think it was Mish, Mish Beauty sent me a reminder. You have items left in your cart. I know that girl, but I, I, I'm just debating right now. <laughs> so my thing is, y'all, is that the reason why I went through Sally's, one, I got like a 30% discount. Two, it was free shipping, okay? Um, I needed to get a good deal. And it's really hard for me to go to a... To, to find a actual uh, product line where there's a lot of products that I liked in order to reach that free shipping. So if I would have done that, gone to, you know, all these different sites, I would have easily spent, I don't know, 150 to $200. You know what I mean? So instead, I went to Sally's, got the items I wanted, and I got free shipping. But let me jump, before we go into Sally's, let me show you two items I purchased at Walgreens they were on clearance and they're new for me the only reason why I'm showing you because I got them at like 75% off they're by Beauty and Planet this first one is Shea Butter and Sandalwood conditioner they're both conditioner and this is a lot 13.5 ounces I don't know that's kind of focusing in on my face let me open it up because I, I think that's this is a really interesting combo again sold at Sally's Ooh. I can definitely smell the sandalwood in this. Very nice. The reason why I picked this out, this is one of those uh, green friendly lines. Yes, organic coconut oil. This is one of vegan, no silicones, no parent, no dyes, no nothing. Made from bottle is 100% recycled. All the good stuff to make you feel better about life. Again, Beauty and Planet, two nineteen. Okay, two dollars and nineteen cents. The second one I bought. I wonder why they're so different. This one is a pump. All right, this one is coconut oil and ylang lang lang lang. You know that you know the big ones with a Y. Ylang lang oil again conditioner. What is that making noise, girl? You so. This smells like perfume, but that's okay. It's not too bad. Um, yes, no, I won't be reviewing these. They're just gonna be in my stash somewhere. So now let's get into the Sally's box. Now y'all, I ordered, whew, I ordered eight full size products and I got some, um, I'm gonna show you what they sent me. Say this, and then I, I may offend some people, but girl, well, what's what's the use of doing being truthful if you ain't gonna offend some people? <laughs> My black is beautiful. I believe that it's the name of this new product line that is sold at Sally's, and something I've been seeing a lot, and I know you guys, something I have been seeing a lot, and I know you guys have seen it on um, Facebook. I've been seeing this ad for a beautiful doll with natural hair, and they pair it with the My Black is Beautiful line, which is sold exclusively at Sally's or online, right? These companies really do, do know how to market towards black people, African Americans. Black is Beautiful is not a black owned company. I want people to understand that. That company is owned by Procter & Gamble, okay? Now the hair, the doll itself, I believe it's owned by a sister. Yeah, something keeps making noise behind me. But if you're okay with that, I guess my thing is that, the way they market both of them together, if you didn't know any better, you would think they were both black owned companies and they're not. They're not, they're very slick about it too. Mm -hmm. You see what they say? We'll get into that last. Is this all I own? I feel like I got more. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I feel like I got more than that girl. So I'm looking at the, the invoice. 
Hmm. Let's just get right into it. So I have here, in no particular order, a full size dry. I like how they taste everything. Yes, Sally's Make Sure TGIN Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. Okay. Now, this was some of this stuff was full price, some of it wasn't. How much was this? Yeah, this was four dollars off. Yeah. So everything was between, just to give you an idea, everything that I'm showing you was between three to almost five dollars off, okay? I mean, I do have a review on nearly everything that I'm showing you. Miel Babasua Mint Deep Conditioner. Love, love, love this. Now, I, I'm, I'm a little bit upset with my local CVS. Girl, I can't be upset with them too long. Excuse me, Walgreens. I'm waiting there. Tell me why they had Miel 50% off on clearance. And I didn't get it because I knew I just bought, you know, and I have tons of deep conditioner and it would be sitting in there. I probably still should go get it anyway, shouldn't I? Yeah. Um, all right. So we have Eden Body Works Natural Deep Conditioner, the jojoba one. Awesome, nice. Now, I haven't tried many products by Eden Body Works, but this one right here, I've only tried this this deep conditioner, and I believe she has a coconut oil one. Okay. Apogee Keratin Green Tea and Reconstructor. Y'all, this is one of those products that I used to use while I relax. And um, because when I was relaxed, oh, y'all, remember the days when you were relaxed? Ciao. Let me tell you something. When I was relaxed, I had thick hair. I had thick hair. My hair was, the longest my hair was relaxed, it was a collarbone, collarbone length. But um, when I went natural, it was shoulder length, okay? Or no, 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 it was chin length because I had it cut in a bob. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And because, you know, you had to wash every week, girl. Wash, blow dry. With me, I had to like blow dry forever. Um, then flat ironed, then curl, then your girls was using. So yeah, I was using a lot of heat, weekly heat. And I would use Alpha G Keratin Green Tea and Reconstructor on my hair. I said all that to say that, to say that I was using this when I was relaxed. Okay, what is this girl? <laughs> We're gonna say that one for last. <laughs> um, I got the Miel Leave-In Conditioner because I have a lot of her styler here. Love that styling, the um, curl cream, the curl pudding cream. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And we have S I M Long and Lux. This is not what I ordered. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> you know why I say that? Let's see if I can find. No, I got rid of it. So this looks totally different. The packaging looks totally different from uh, what they when they they changed it basically. It didn't used to look like this. And they, so the reason why I was laughing, y'all, is because <clears throat> you know Sally sell their own generic in-house brand, right? And they got in trouble a while back. Who were they sued by? Was it Mixed Chicks? They were sued, meaning that Sally's was, because they were literally mimicking their brand. But they do that with, uh, they do it with Paul Mitchell. I have no idea how they don't get sued by other companies, but Mixed Chicks sued them and won, I believe. So when I saw this, I cracked up laughing. Generic curl defining cream. Compared to Shea Moisture, Curl Enhances Smooth <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Let me try it. You better not change your, your uh, ingredients like Shea Moisture did. Oh, hell. See, you know what? How the hell are you going to say this is? Y'all, this looks like, you know what? I need to look at the ingredients. This looks like straight up perm. This looks like straight. Look, it's not even coming out. Look. How long has this shit, excuse me, how long has this stuff been on the counter? Let me read it, girl, they got a backstory. Hold on, y'all, the generic story. Generic value products were formed because a group of experienced chemists and marketing people knew they could produce, a, produce at popular prices, a product as good as the higher end, higher prices, excuse me, quality name brands. The generic ingredient comparison. Baby, they got, I've never bought anything like this. This is why I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit hyper. They have a list, and I'm going to show y'all. They have the list of generic value brand products, uh, ingredients, and then alongside of that, we have Shea Moisture ingredients. 
<clears throat> Ciao. This is a comparison of the list list of ingredients at the back there. But it says Oh Lord. Yeah, let's let's get into this. I'm I'm nervous. Maybe I should try it on JP. I ain't giving my baby a perm. <laughs> know what the hell the um the curl enhancing smoothie y'all it started to look like but after a while it started like a pudding with um like cottage cheese type of texture um this is creamy i'm gonna leave it on my hand and see if it'll burn like a perm <laughs> i'm still convinced this is a dang on perm because when i open it up it had that you know when when it looked like the perm where you just got to go get your wooden spoon before you put the activator in. It looked like that. It was very smooth on top. I couldn't really, you couldn't really see it when I showed you guys, but it was very smooth on top. And yeah, Jabe is going to have to be a guinea pig. Uh, clearly it's not a perm. I don't smell, a, you know, my eyes aren't watering up. Um, I need something to wipe my hands on. But we'll see because the Curl Enhancing Smoothie was my go-to leave-in. I would use that alongside with Echo Styler Gel for my um, wash and goes when I first went natural. I used to wear wash and goes all the time because I had a TWA. So let's see this, <coughs> excuse me, I'm wheezing. Let's see this, these samples they sent me because they need to get rid of their products. Again, you see, I knew it. My black is beautiful. Now let me say something positive. Okay, I'm um, gonna get these in order. They have beautiful packaging, and I visit my Sally's Beauties quite quite often because I'm I'm like that I'm a junkie, and the packaging is impeccable. They knew what they were doing though. They they click, Procter and Gamble has studied black women for a long ass time. They know how to get us. So the packaging is on point. Very beautiful. Um, y'all yeah, know I, there's a kind of joke inside. Please don't take everything I say serious, but do. <laughs> I basically, I, I like to talk about serious matters with a hint of humor, okay? So, these sample packages are big. One of the things that they've done with this particular uh, line or collection, whatever you want to say, they have indicated the curl type on their product. So, you know, you know, if I'm, I'm type 4, okay, I can grab this. If I'm type 3, okay, I can grab this. I saw the product line right when they came out so this is what i received these were free alongside with the products that i purchased they have the tangle slayer see they they even getting some slang some slang up in there tangle slayer conditioning cream this is for type 3 it has golden milk with honey and coconut oil okay hydrate and shampoo it doesn't have a curl type or a type because Basically, most curly hair can use the same type of shampoos. Fortifying conditioner. Again, no curl type indicated on the packaging. Again, golden milk with honey and coconut oil. Girl, I want to know what golden milk is. Intense recovery treatment. And then the conditioning cream. See, you know what? This is how, okay, they gave me two different types. They gave me a conditioning cream for type four and for type three. Now, I'm not, um, a thank you. I, I appreciate them sending these to me for free. Okay, so that is it, you guys. Let me know, did you get any Black Friday sales? Are you going to be shopping? You know, because they extended those sales till, um, most of them extended it till Monday because they have Cyber Monday. Um done for a while I know I said that like three months ago but I really am because at this point I have no room I'm turning around looking I have no room I have a four shelf actually one two three yeah, a four shelf bookcase that I keep my products on in addition to that I have products stored in my bathrooms and I roughly have at this point between 175 to 200 products, which honestly, I'm, I'm just going to say this as someone who is, who reviews products, that's actually, that's actually low. It really is. It, I mean, because I know other girls who have 300, 400, not naming no name, Busby. <laughs> Ciao. When I saw Busby collection, I said, I need to up my game. I said, no, I didn't, because I used to be there. I used to have, I said, no, no, I'm okay, I'm okay. But again, 
175, 150, 175, 200 products for someone who reviews products on a weekly basis, that's kind of low. Because at one point, I easily, easily had like 100 conditioners. Yeah, that I should never admit that again. So anyway, you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you as always to all my subscribers. Take care. Bye.